starting a new series probably here in a week or two. And I will also be incorporating, you know, like emotional, mental health. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my psychology and fitness YouTube channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Grace Jones, also known as Grace and Fit. So today what we're going to do is we are going to go over a banded glute and hamstring workout. Like I promised two videos ago that I would do, but I forgot my bands at home. So that's what we're going to do today and it's going to be um, a full on tutorial. I've never, I always try to do things that are different. Um, just because I don't want it to be the same old boring video. I think this is probably one of the best tutorials that I've ever done before. If you guys really liked the way I edited this video and the way I showed you guys the movements, give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know if it helped you, if it didn't help you, what would help you, and so forth. Also, um, I've had a couple of people ask me uh, to post a video regarding my breast augmentation and I'm planning on doing that so what kind of questions do you guys want to know like my the, the size I got or why I decided to get it if you didn't watch well I kind of yeah I kind of said it in my other video briefly I touched on it but just let me know comment below and just let me know what kind of things you want to know about my breast augmentation procedure because I don't want to bore you guys with the numbers and etc etc so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll catch in with you later. Bye right, you guys, I totally forgot to tell you this. But I'm starting a new series, probably here in a week or two. And it's just, I'm really excited for it because not only is this going to, because obviously I wanna lean out for my next photo shoot because this will be my third photo shoot. This is gonna be my first photo shoot of 2017. And I will also be incorporating, you know, like emotional, mental health, self-love, and it's gonna be so much fun. And you guys are gonna take the journey with me if you guys choose to, but you guys are definitely, definitely gonna like this because it's to help other people, or that's how I see it, it's to help other people. So why not? I'm not saying just physically help someone like, I mean, it's cool like if you want to bulk up or you want to cut, but you know the summer is coming up and you want to be smart about losing weight, leaning out. So that's why I'll be sharing with you guys along with more like emotional and mental health as well. Because like I always say, it's awesome if you work out and if you're all about that healthy lifestyle, but it's also, but what I find to be more important is training your mind into thinking more positively. So, without further ado, let's get started with this hamstring and glute tutorial. First workout is your wide stance deficit straight legged deadlift. Wider stance means you are targeting more of your outer glutes and your outer hamstring area. One of the most important things to learn about banded workout is as you are going down, make sure that you are stretching those bands apart with your legs. That way you feel the resistance. The second workout is your narrow stance. Basically what I did was take a narrow stance to target more of my glute and hamstring tie-in area. As you guys can see, I like doing a lot of pulses to make sure that I keep that resistance on my glutes and hamstrings. This play stance was the first time I actually ever tried a stance before. Uh, I just wanted to get a different feel to see if I feel it in different areas of my glutes and hamstring. And sure enough, I did. I felt this for the next three days. This is basically the same exact concept as a straight legged deadlift, uh, the narrow and the wide stance. Make sure that as you're going down, you pull those bands apart with your legs. Next workout is your barbell wide stance hip thrust, supersetting it with their narrow stance. When you are um, having a more wider stance, you are targeting more of your outer glutes and your outer hamstring area. For a wide stance hip thrust, make sure that your toes are pointed out. And what I like to do is every five or six, or for this case, because it's really light, every 10, 15, I like to hold it in midair. Once I thrust my hip, I like to hold and squeeze my glutes for about good 10 to 15 seconds to actually feel that burn. Then I superset it with a narrow stance. With narrow stance, basically you're obviously having a narrow stance with your toes, with your toes pointing forward. Your single deficit straight like a deadlift 
is probably one of the exercises I hate the most because I honestly got feel it on my lower back. So I always have to go really light, but I recommend people doing, whether it's this sort of workout, but I always recommend people to do um, like single leg movements just to correct that um, muscle imbalance because most of us favor one side. For instance, I'm a righty, so I tend to favor my right arm and my right legs and I actually do more of a muscle to my connection to my right glute. So I always make sure that I do single leg movements. This workout um, is basically you take a platform and you take two dumbbells. It doesn't have to be heavy. What I'm holding on to are two 10 pound dumbbells. And as you are doing your side to side lunge, make sure that you are getting a very good stretch in and you are feeling it in your outer glutes because this workout targets your glutes, but more of your outer glutes. Then I basically superset it with, uh, without any weights because especially when you're doing it with a resistance band and you have a platform, it is incredibly hard. Bulgarian split squat. Probably one of, besides hip thrusts and squats and sumo deadlifts and straight legged deadlifts, <laughs> I guess everything, huh? Our Bulgarian split squat. I like to take a wider stance because during my glute day, I take wider stance to make sure that I feel it in my glutes. As you guys can see, I am leaning forward. And I know that some people say that you shouldn't lean forward because it's bad for your back, but I don't feel it on my back when I do it that way. I feel it more on my hamstring and my glutes, especially when you push from the heel of your foot rather than the sole of your foot. Onto your cable kickback superset with cable hip abductor using bands. You know, I don't even know how to explain this to you guys besides it freaking birds. Make, using bands make it that much harder. You don't even have to use weights if you don't want to. I just did it because I wanted a challenge. You're sitting hamstring curls. I never used to do this workout until I got to gold, which was uh, like the last month, I mean the last week of June. And it seriously, it does amazing things to your hamstrings. With this workout, I love to do, I love to alternate my legs, but most importantly, I like to keep my toes pointed outwards. The reason I like to do that is because I feel it more on my glutes and my hamstring than if I were to keep my toes pointing forward. This is your single leg standing push down. I do toes pointed forward and toes pointed out. And always remember for this sort of workout you or this exercise, you have to push down from the heel of your foot to feel it on your glutes and your 